In this tutorial, I'm going to show some more advanced shadow options. Now here I've got a background from the Robot Rust DigiKit. This is a little different to most backgrounds in that it actually has depth to it. It kind of gives like a 3D effect here. And that presents some challenges when we want to add a shadow to an object. So here I've got a photo. If I select it and then choose my shadow tool at the top, ordinarily when you drag a shadow on, it just gives a very simple drop shadow. But in this particular example, that doesn't look right at all, because really what we want is to cast a shadow along the ground here at an angle, rather than it just being a simple drop shadow like this. And you can actually achieve that using the shadow tool. So let me undo that shadow I've applied. I'll select the photo again, choose the shadow tool again, and with the shadow tool selected, you can see you've got lots of other options at the top here on the context bar. And the two things that I want to do is actually shear the shadow along the x-axis. So I can do that here by sliding this bar up. And you can see that starts to shear the shadow to the right. And I also want to squash the shadow down a bit. And I can do that using the scale Y option here. So I'm going to bring that down until I'm happy with the effect I've got. Now there are a number of other options you've got when you've got the shadow tool selected as I have here. Firstly you can change the color of a shadow and you can just do that simply by clicking on the color tab on the right hand side. So I could choose any color here that I want. Of course alternatively I could use the color picker and I might actually want to try and match this shadow more to the color that I've got at the back here. and that can give me a more realistic effect. The other options that you have at the top is how transparent you want the shadow to be and you can also adjust the blur. So here I might actually want to make the shadow a little bit more blurry just to make it a more subtle effect.